Hello beautiful souls, Shania here with Third Eye Gypsy. I just did some awesome rustic lampwork beads and I wanted to show you guys how I clean my beads. So let's take a look. So here are the rustic lampwork beads. And these are done using baking soda. That's what gives it the uh, pitted look here. I'm trying to get this to zoom in for me. So as you can see, you can see these little kind of holes in this kind of dusty looking um, build up that's on the bead. It looks kind of gross and obviously um, the finished beads don't look like this. So this is just kind of what they look like when they're dirty. And here's another one. This one will be the most remarkable one as far as difference here. So it looks like pretty silvery and there's a bunch of crusty things all over it. So the first thing I do with these um, after I make them is I soak them in water like I would if I was going to clean any of my other beads. So let's go hop to the other room and I'll show you that. So here we are in the kitchen where I have my beads soaking and what I've done is these have been soaking in water for a little bit and you can see, let's see here, it's going to focus for me, there we go. You can see how some of that nasty stuff has come off, it looks a lot cleaner now but I'm actually going to do some scrubbing now with some soap. So after I let these soak, I take some soap and a toothbrush and I give them a scrub. So here I've got my soapy toothbrush and I'm just going to go and brush them. I'm just going to give them a good scrub here, and I'm just using regular soap. This is Dawn soap, but you can use kind of whatever dish soap you have. So I'm just getting all nice and soapy and stuff. And then I'm going to rinse. Now it should look a little bit more clean. It's not wanting to focus for me. I'll try this again. There's all these things in the background. Not that. Anyway, so I've got this nice and clean, and then I'm going to put it in an etching solution. Okay, so next we're going to put this in etching solution. Now you want to wear rubber gloves, which I am not wearing because I live dangerously. And you want to do this um, not around food stuff. It looks a lot closer in the photo than it is, um, so you'll just have to trust me that it's not on top of the stuff. So, actually I want to show you this one. This is the one that's going to be the most remarkable. See how dirty this one looks? Just really not wanting to focus. Oh, there we go for a second. There. See, it's pretty dirty looking, so this will be the most magical one. So what I'm doing is I've taken this giant thing of uh, dip and etch here, and like I said, you know, wear gloves. Um, here's baking soda to neutralize the acid if you spill it anywhere, and if you get it on your skin, it does burn. So you definitely want to be careful. You definitely want to wear gloves. But I've got a giant container here that I use and what I do is I put some in a smaller container here so um, because when you do the baking soda beads baking soda will neutralize the acid so you want to make sure that these are nice and clean before you stick them in here otherwise you're just gonna make your etching acid um, neutralize a lot sooner and then it won't work so I put um, 
some of my new stuff in a smaller container and then uh, when I feel like this one is getting weak then I transfer it to another container for proper disposal and then I just keep refilling it with my um, other stuff right here. So we take these little babies and we're going to kerplunk here which they also tell you not to stick metal in here so you know as you will but I find this to work best for me um, because I believe metal also makes the um, etching acid not as strong but this is how I do it so I just stick them on the mandrels in here so that the liquid gets all the way around the bead and so I'm just going to set these in here for 10 minutes and then we'll come back Okay, so now my beads are done in the etching solution, and I'm going to make a little neutralizing bath here. So I've got some baking soda, and I poured it in this bowl, and then I'm going to add some water. And just mix that around, and then I'm going to take these out, and I'm going to put them in here. So any drips that get on here are going to be neutralized, which is what we want. <gasps> See, that means it's working, yay. Alright, so that has just neutralized all the acid on there for us. Hooray! Now we're going to put the lid back on this guy. Actually, I lied, I'm going to put some other beads in here. But, now we are going to go clean the beads. Okay, so just kidding. We're going to soak these again. This is what I forgot to show you. So, some more soap and water on the toothbrush. Give them a good scrub. It's going to get all the nasties off. Alright. There we go. That's how it looks. Look how magical. See, I told you this one would be the most impressive one. Pretty amazing, huh? It was like super dirty. So now that we are done with this, I'm going to go ahead and actually clean the beads. So you just want to take this liquid and um, this is neutralized, so you can probably dump that outside somewhere. And again, just to reiterate, this is how I do it. This is not necessarily the proper way, so use caution. I can't be held liable for any misuse, so be sure to read the back of the containers and follow the directions. So let's go clean some beads. So now that we have the beads over here to my little cleaning station, I'm going to remove them from the mandrel. And then I just um, take my mandrel and I kind of run it through here a few times and try to loosen up any bead release in here. And you can kind of see the water got dirty there. And you want to remember bead release is toxic, which like most art supplies are, but um, especially when it is in powder form when it's dry, you don't want to breathe that in. So now I'm going to just clean this with my Dremel. This is my Dremel. Whoop, whoop. Pretty awesome. This thing is super amazing. It makes bead cleaning uh, super fast. Okay, and then next I take this little uh, reamer right here, and if I have any little sharp spots or anything, I just kind of put this in the bead hole here and just give it a light little twist in case there's any little tiny jaggedy spots. And then I blow the water out of the hole just to get all the water out here. And dry it with a towel and there she is thing of beauty right this was a new style that I came up with yesterday and then I've got a few more that are in the bead bowl so for this particular video this is what I wanted to show you but I'll give you a little sneaky peeky of the other ones in here 
So I did a sideways design. This one is shiny, as you can see all the reflection. And then I also did these cradle moon beads. Pretty sweet, eh? All right, that's it for now. See you guys later. Love, light, and highest vibrations.